how's it going, y'all? It's your main man, Dial, the Fair European Gamer, and Gordon here, and what I bring you guys is a story time gameplay slash commentary with my boy Mco, lace up Mco, M Sizzle, Emir, Mco News, Mco anything. But what you guys are gonna be watching in the background is a dope ass gameplay, just pubs. You know, I dropped like a bunch of kills. I took a nuclear twice. I'm going on a 26 kill streak and a 20, and I'm literally just running through them. But what I want to talk to you guys about is. You guys know me a little bit more of like Call of Duty me, but you don't know me like personally what I do in real life. So I have one of the guys that knows me more than anyone, and he's been with me since shit kindergarten. This is the beginning, man. <laughs> he's known. He's known little Dials. He's known the Dials. But <laughs> little. <laughs> so go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell him a little bit about yourself. Get him more comfortable. All right. Well, I'm in here. He, he's the man. You know that? He, he's the man. Oh, man. All right. Well. Well, when we were little, me and him, we used to play, uh, what was it, Modern Warfare 2? Modern oh, Warfare 2. That was really good old days. Quick scoping days. Oh, dude. This man right here taught me how to get mad just at, just at quick scoping, for goodness sakes. Come on now. Oh, my. That's when your back your boy was nice. He didn't know any of the little competitive. He was just a quick scoper, you know, little 2v2, scrape yard, rust. <laughs> you know, the rust maps. Oh, oh my God. We played that for hours. I almost fought this man. Remember how Private Match never saved nothing, so we'd boost for headshots for four hours before oh we'd actually play God. just that to get a camo? Shit took forever. Guys, I don't know if you guys remember, but Modern Warfare 2, it never saved your camos in Private Match. And when you had a guest player, so would you have Arctic and Desert? And basically, we went on Rust and we used tactical insertions, and we boosted for our headshots just so we could play with the cool camos. And, I mean, those are the days, like, fucking get out of school with no homework. That, that was great. It was, that either, was... it was either Call of Duty or football outside, but we're getting text messages right now. We're probably going to go out somewhere. I'm going to go visit my old work, uh, see some friends and stuff. Uh, right here is actually a pick up the dingo, dude. This gun with this e, oh um, E-Tech site, I think it's called. This gun is so good. I used it during Dark Matter, and I actually got my free-for-all um, nuclear with this gun I pick up. So, if you guys really want to find a gun that's good for PUBG and... You need a lot of ammo for hard point or domination. Definitely use this gun. Um, I mean, have you played Black Ops 3 yet? Uh, played, played a little, oh just, God, just a tiny bit. All right, so he doesn't have a system right now. Um, oh my God, let's God. donate and get him a system. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> but That'd right here, um, I did have a live commentary on this, oh but I thought God. it'd be a really good gameplay to do a double commentary over because he's over, and I was like, yo, let's just make a video. But uh, right now, I'm just using a microphone to record. Um, I'm trying to make the quality as best as I can. If you guys didn't know, I got Astro 840s. Uh, they're right here. My mix amp is down here. Um, I'm not using these to record just because you guys know Astros are an amazing headset, but the microphone on them is just, it's bad. It's only good when you talk through Skype. I don't know why they did that um, to make such a good quality headset, and then the microphone just sounds like buzzy. It's just, it's pretty awkward. But um, I just want to let you guys know uh, that's MCO. And um, what else do you want to talk about? Oh, well, we go to school together, by the way. Um, we have yeah, economics well, together They right figured, now. but... Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but here's the thing. We kind of do everything together. It's kind of weird, even if you don't think about it. He got in a car wreck, and then I got in a car wreck. Um, he has economics, I have economics. No, I accidentally backed up into someone because they were in my blind spot. You and got hit by I a got grandma. I got hit by an 85-year-old handicapped grandma <laughs> coming into my high school. Like, I'm on the... I'm, I have a green arrow turn, and this dude was just laughing at me. <laughs> I literally had the turn, guys, and I'm literally just driving, and the the most, I can't find the word for it. Um, grotesque. We'll use that word. The most grotesque thing was the Justin Bieber song, I'm Sorry, was playing as soon as she hit me. Like, I'm like, I'm turning left, and she's turning right, and she just sideswipes me and hits me. So, luckily, um, I have insurance, and her insurance is going to cover it. Um, I think the cost is maybe about around $2,000. Just because they got a, she had both the doors. It's not total. It's still drivable. You can open it, but that's my baby. You know, I gotta open it, gotta drive it, gotta make it clean. And what happened that night before that uh, car accident? Where were we? Where was uh, well, I? Where well, was I? I cleaned out both of our cars, like my <laughs> car, and my mom's car. I was vacuuming them out, and this man, he comes. I see him across from me, like at the car wash. He's just chilling. He's like a damn robot. <laughs> He's just chilling there, and he looks at me. He like like Terminator side. He's like, he just looks at me. I'm just like, oh, that's my man, Gordon. I was just like, what's good, fam? So, if you guys didn't know, as a little kid, I really didn't like car washes just because I seen those Final Destination movies where that girl actually got stuck in the car wash. So when I went in there, I, right before I went in, I put in like a ticket number because the car wash you have like you get a number and you put it in right before you go in. 
So I told him, I was like, I'm scared. And he said, for being a pussy. Oh, so, my God. I tweeted it and everything. I went in and I took a video for me just screaming. Um, I could possibly try to squeeze it in uh, into an X-Figure or something because it is on my phone and my laptop. And, but as on my laptop. So you probably won't see it in this video. But it, he put it on Twitter. And oh, dude. I was in tears. Story, and I was like, why are you crying? It's a car wash. And I really wasn't crying. It was more like an act. But yeah, I, was still wasn't I still wasn't comfortable. I still wasn't comfortable in there. Um, the funny thing about me and Emir is like, it's like our friendship, like we didn't, we can't get away from each other because we went to kindergarten through fourth grade oh, yeah. at North Christ yeah. Elementary oh, and then he moved and I moved the same like period and we didn't know. So when I went to fifth grade at El- uh, Washington, oh, yeah. Washington mm-hmm. Elementary, I saw this dude at lunch and I was like, what? <laughs> and uh, huh? somehow my house that we built was literally like, it's like a, it's like a hill. And mine's just above the hill in the other cul-de-sac. So we live, like, literally, like, 30 seconds away from each other. Damn near. So it's just weird and how convenient it is that friendships can last because, like, how people stay together. But All right, let's, let's, let's right dial here, it down I almost a bit, got dial. that five piece. I almost got that five oh, piece at the site. You almost... Hey. Hey, do that face for him that you always do in class. This dude sits across from me, and he just, like, when the teacher's talking, he'd be like this, and he's like... And just makes like the weirdest faces, <laughs> and I can't do it. And the teacher's like, "Oh, uh, am I interrupting?" And she's like the nicest, most sweetest but teacher. But she is thick. <laughs> she is thicker than a snicker. Oh my thicker dear than lord. Thicker snicker, dude. I've never even heard that. What is that? Uh, what did you get that? I think it's a saying. Shut up. No. Thicker than a, Oh, I guarantee. Ah, oh, I'd beat the brakes off. Of <laughs> oh hell no. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, but as you guys saw right there, I. I I think I died again, and I was honestly, I think as of this point, I was like, I just can't get a nuclear, just because the way they're playing, they're sitting back, my teammates got streaks out, I was playing with my brother Ooh. in this game, play, you know, discounts, Ooh. you know, I'm using the that was a two piece. I never made a video of me finally unlocking Dark Ooh. Matter. Ooh. 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 Nice. Yes, what? But I never actually made a video of me actually unlocking Dark Matter, and I know you guys like wanted me to, but I felt like it would have been so basic, like a white girl. It would have been basic <laughs> because when, every time someone unlocks Dark Matter, it's on their channel, and I'm, so many people have seen it. So I honestly oh thought like it would have been like pointless oh for because I doubt you guys would click on my channel, watch me scroll through every single video. But it, in almost my gameplay, I'm gonna use Dark Matter. Um, DMP by far my favorite gun, still is, always will be. Even though they nerfed it four times, they took away the aim up speed, they messed up the recoil, but they never fucked with the Vesper, the most OP gun of the game. You remember the Scorpion in Black Ops 2? Mm-hmm. It's literally that gun, but worse. It, like, oh. The gun I was using, it literally melts. That's so a darn fast. shame. Right here, I pick up this LMG, and I think I get this three piece. No, I can't shoot straight on head glitches. That gun, too picky. But this gameplay is wrapping up here soon, guys. Um, I just want to introduce you a little bit to my friend. Um, we're probably just going to go chill with someone else. Do so, some drugs. No, no, we're not. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Um, but I got out the shower today real quick. I got out the shower today, and my hair was like, it was literally like this. And he took a photo of me, and he was like, <laughs> what'd you say? I said, oh, okay, I'll make the face. and then. Oh, my. Did. Just, hi, uh, my name's Ragnarok, I think. 23, I love Lincoln Park. <laughs> <laughs> he literally put that in the caption. But, like, tears. my hair was, like, it's wet. So, like, I have a lot of hair, so I can make my hair. And uh, if Q-Dub sees this video, he likes my video. He, and Q-Dub, I'm using that old mic because you like my voice. So here's my voice. But q knows I have amazing hair, and he loves my hairstyle. Um, hopefully, with the next video, I'll make it so y'all can see. Uh, I did a hair tutorial two years ago. My friends trolled the shit out. I know. Oh, my I, I posted and deleted it within like two hours. They were just like, oh, I want to see. I only did it for like one person. But the gameplay is wrapping up here. Um, as you can see, we're literally just shredding everything. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, appreciate you guys joining in. Uh, once again, it's my main man, Emco. We're going to be out here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. All right, chill uh, out, fam, before we get shot. <laughs> we ain't going to get shot. But... Right here, I get an acid two piece down out the game. Once again, it's my man Dials. I'll see you guys soon. Dude, I'm not mixing later. Like, I'm not Peace mixing. Peace, we out. Like, look at this. Dude, I'm, my shot is so hot right now. I don't know what's going on. I'm scared. They were no match for us. We just took their food. Dude, we got to stay in this lobby. I, I want. Oh my gosh. 
Six and thirty-seven, dude. Like, how do you take that beating? My title is classified. Oh yeah. I have that. Yeah, it's, it's uh.